Hi, I'm Andrew, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unclog a Canon Pro 100 print head. Now, my situation was the Cyan, and I'll put the picture up on the screen. I actually went through two printers and was on to my third before I discovered what the problem was. I just thought I'd reached the end of the lifespan of the printer. I'd had both of them for a couple of years, and I then discovered what the actual problem was. So I have now two printers on the side and two printers up and running, total four Canon Pro 100s. And I totally ruined one print head by trying, I was desperate, I was trying everything. I tried an ultrasonic cleaner and I just put it in for five minutes and that totally, <laughs> don't do that, that totally ruined the print head. Um, but then I called because I've been using Precision Colors refillable uh, ink and that's when I, I ended up talking to Mike at Precision Colors, and this is what he told me to do, and it worked. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it. And I'm also gonna tell you some things to avoid doing in the future and things you wanna change if you are doing them. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is lift up the cover of the printer, and that will allow the ink cartridges the carriage to slide into the position that would allow you to remove the print head and the uh, ink. But while it's in this position, you want to actually unplug the printer to prevent it from sliding back. And then we'll get back to it. When we're done, we're going to be plugging it back in. All right, so first start with removing the ink cartridges. And then there's this gray latch here. You lift that up and that will let you take the print head out. And we will be soaking this in a print head cleaning solution. It's very easy. You can make it yourself. 10 parts distilled water, two parts isopropyl alcohol, and one part ammonia. And I just place it down on this paper towel. And when I pour it in, I put it in about a quarter of an inch and I want to make sure also that I get the cleaning solution onto these little mesh screens where the ink travels through on its way through the printhead. And it's been sitting, uh, this one was sitting for quite a while, but really 24, uh, 48 hours max is what you should do. And I, as it dried or seeped down, I would pour more solution into the top just to make sure that those screens had enough solution to work their way through. So this can happen to any ink cartridge and any nozzle on the print head, but according to Mike with Precision Colors, it happens more often with, um, with the Cyan because it has the furthest distance to travel, and so it has more the higher likelihood to um, cause ink starvation to the print head. Now, this is part of the problem. These are refillable, um, manufactured as refillable, refillable Canon ink cartridges. I am using all the other colors except the cyan without problem, but there is an issue, and I'll show you later, with using these as opposed to using an a, either a genuine, this is a genuine brand new cyan cartridge. This is a genuine Canon cartridge that has been refilled. And there, the difference is the sponge material that they are using. They use the same sponge material in the original uh, cartridge, only on that pad right there. The rest of the sponge material in this whole thing is a different material and it clogs. I'll show you that later, but let's get to the print head. So here's the print head. It's been soaking for a long time. I actually left this soaking way too long. Um, 24 hours is good. I had this in for weeks just because I didn't get around to it, but I saw the video uh, request and I thought I'd make it. So. You can actually see rust forming here. And I soaked this in this print solution right here. And the recipe for this, I used to sell this. Um, I made thousands of dollars a month um, selling this. 
And I'll just tell you what the recipe is. 10 parts distilled water, two parts alcohol, and that's just isopropyl alcohol. I was using some denatured, but it really didn't matter. And one part ammonia. And I've actually, now that I make it myself, just I've kept the bottle. I've, I've upped the ammonia a little bit more and it seems to do a little bit better of a job, but if you're looking for a business, I'll do a video on how I sold this. It was mainly for the Epson printers that clogged all the time. And so I was making it for myself and I thought I could just sell it. And so that's why, that's why I was selling it. So what you're gonna need is, I have this water pick tool. This is my old one. I love this just for dental care. Um, but this recommendation came from Mike with Precision Colors from him. He said use a water pick on the actual print head. And so I actually ruined one print head um, temporarily. Oddly, it, it fixed itself. And I ruined another print head entirely not using this method. I tried an ultrasonic, an ultrasonic cleaner. And that really trashed the print head, so don't do that. So what we're going to do here is we are going to fill the tank with print head cleaner. Now this has been soaking, uh, again, 24 hours, you know, 36 hours, 48 hours. You don't need to go beyond that. And I kept making sure because it would either drain out or it would... Um, dry up right here in these so you want to keep make sure you're putting uh, the liquid just filling that up as it's sitting there soaking and I had it up to about that level I didn't go up onto these contacts here uh, you just want to make sure that that's submerged and then what you do on the water pick tool you have this dial and you can crank this up to 10 I've actually cut my mouth at about seven. So I I had totally bleeding, just blood everywhere. I cut my tongue and my gums. I don't know why they make it that strong. Maybe if you have braces and you're really trying to get something out, but, um, and I tried it at about six for the print head and that was too much. You really don't need much at all. I, I keep it now at about two or three for cleaning print head. And you want to make sure you're doing this in a bathroom because it is, you get some spray and you don't hold it directly on the print head. So I'll zoom in here. I'll try and make sure I do this in, in camera. So you have a little on off on this water pick. It's really worth doing. I'll show you also how I clean my cartridges out, my yellow cartridges now with this. So go ahead and turn it on. And you just let it spray about that distance and it gets everywhere. So about that distance and it doesn't take long. It's probably getting on my lens. It's getting all over my mirror. So if you really want to be careful, you could just put this in a plastic bag so you can see what you're doing. A clear plastic bag. Very strong ammonia. Okay. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of, uh, looks like uh, black still in the nozzle. And that's it. That's all I did. And I took the print head that was giving me those problems same exact problems as you showed. So we'll go ahead and turn this off. I'll just rinse it off with some distilled. So I just rinse off all the parts. I know some, a lot of people just use tap water, but I live where there's a lot of hard water and now I have a water softener installed. So rather than have any kind of issues, I'll just use distilled. And that is how you get an ink-starved uh, nozzle unclogged. 
um, and it will print as good as new. These are Precision Colors inks. Um, the uh, Signature Edition flows better than the Cyan, the older edition. So I would recommend buying only Signature Edition inks. I'm not, this is not a sponsor from Precision Color and I'm not getting any kind of kickback. I'm just pointing this out to you. Uh, but let me show you the difference with the third party Cyan and a genuine, get it out here, and a genuine Cyan cartridge. I really just need to wash out the yellow. Um, that's really, but if you have one that's been sitting around for a long time, it's really dry. It might be worth rinsing out, but these are fresh. Um, so I need to clean out the yellow, but just for demonstration purposes, I will do cyan to cyan just to show you. And I'm using my water pick for this. I created a special nozzle and I can go ahead and provide it. If people are interested in buying this, um, or I'll show you how I made it, but I'll also put it up for sale. Um, this really makes the rinsing go faster. You can use a syringe instead of a water pick, but it goes much, much faster. So I'll go ahead and put this on. And I have my uh, tank filled with uh, printhead cleaner, I'm getting ink all over me, uh, with printhead cleaner. So I will go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to plug this hole. It's going to get messy. Let me zoom in. I shouldn't be wearing a white shirt. As you can see, some of it's coming out right now. But you don't need this up high. I have it about two or three. And we're going to turn this on. It's going to get messy. Hopefully I don't ruin my shirt. Okay, so there it's going. Zoom in a bit more. So that's rinsing out this cartridge. I got some ink on my walls here. Okay. So we'll turn that off. Now this is the third party ink cartridge. Usually I wear gloves, I've been thinking about it, and oddly I'm wearing a white shirt and nothing's gotten on it yet. Okay, now I'm going to put some more printhead cleaner in my water pick. So as you can see, the sponge still looks completely saturated, even though it's been rinsed out. I'll show you the same process. This is a genuine cyan cartridge. And we are going to turn this on. And look at that. So the actual sponge doesn't absorb ink in the genuine part. So you're going to get better ink flow always through a genuine Canon cartridge than through any other kind of uh, third-party cartridge. So that alone should tell you it's worth using Canon ink cartridges for refills, not the third-party ones. So now back to the printer. The only thing you want to make sure is that the, the contacts, the little gold contacts on the back of the print head are dry before you put it in. So the printer is not on. We'll be putting the print head in and then replacing all of the uh, ink cartridges. And I only use genuine cartridges for the Cyan and I've been buying to replace all these other cartridges. I've been buying uh, genuine carts. So once you have them all in, go ahead and turn the printer on and we'll be printing a test sheet. And as you can see, I'll show them side by side, the before and after. You have, that was the, the before, and then after it's totally clean. 
and I've been going uh, several months now without a single clog and I've been using um, refilled cyan with precision colors signature edition but I've also been using genuine cartridges uh, just to build up my stock of refillables so so there you have it that's how I unclogged my Canon Pro 100 print heads that were clogged definitely worth doing I was panicked and I'm sure you are too it, who knew that that would be the problem but that's the solution that that worked for me thank you to Mike from Precision Colors and if you have any comments or suggestions in the you can leave those in the comment section or if you have any questions about the process also subscribe and, and click like if you want more videos printing related and tech related. And I also have a tip jar and a Patreon page if you want to help the channel grow. It does even the smallest amount helps me out. So thanks for watching and have a great day. One more thing I just wanted to point out that there is another YouTube channel and that is Jose Rodriguez. And his channel, if you haven't come across it yet, you definitely will if you, if you um, start looking up Canon printer uh, information. So I recommend checking out his channel. And also he has a Facebook page where a lot of us printers are all together helping each other out. So that is a great resource. If you don't already know about it, check him out on Facebook and check out his YouTube channel.